Good morning, Good morning. everyone. Uh, I'm Assemblyman David Weprin, uh, the proud uh, prime sponsor uh, of the Adoptee Bill of Rights uh, in the New York State Assembly, uh, which uh, became law just a few hours ago as of midnight last night. Uh, I'm proudly joined by uh, the Senate sp prime sponsor of the bill, uh, Senator Velmanette Montgomery, uh, on my left. Uh, and I have a number of colleagues of mine, uh, including one of our uh, more vocal uh, advocates who's an adoptee herself, and uh, you'll hear from her shortly, uh, Assembly Member uh, Pam Hunter uh, from Syracuse. Uh, we have uh, a number of other uh, colleagues uh, of mine, um, Assemblyman uh, Carl Brabinek, uh, Joe uh, De Stefano, John Salka, Assemblyman John uh, Salka. I know Billy Jones. <laughs> Assemblyman, <laughs> Assemblyman Billy Jones, uh, and many, many uh, advocates uh, for adoptees, uh, many of whom uh, are adoptees themselves and have either gotten their birth certificate uh, since midnight last night uh, or will be getting. Uh, their certificate shortly. Uh, as you all know, I've been carrying this bill for almost 10 years. Uh, this bill has been around the legislature uh, for over 50 years. Uh, there are a number of people that came uh, before me in the sponsorship that I'd just like to uh, acknowledge. Uh, immediately uh, before me uh, was David Kuhn, uh, Scott Stringer, um, Sam Coleman, uh, and a number of members uh, in the Senate, uh, Andrew Lanza, Roy Goodman, James Wright, Fran and Franz Leichter, uh, along with, uh, of course, our, our champion in the Senate, uh, Senator Velmanette Montgomery. Uh, the governor, governor, <laughs> governor Andrew Cuomo uh, signed uh, the bill on November 14th uh, with, without any chapter amendments because I know there were uh, discussions about chapter amendments, but uh, we're all very happy that uh, he signed the clean bill. Uh, this measure grants adult adoptees what I consider a basic human and civil right, the right of adopted individuals uh, to get their original birth certificate, medical history, and identities. We have some information to share about how to obtain your birth certificate. The fastest way to apply for a pre-adoption birth certificate is online. And as I mentioned, 1,200 people have already applied online uh, just since midnight uh, last night. And you go to www.vitalcheck.com, C-H-E-K.com. Uh, paper applications will be accepted either by mail or in person. However, applicants are strongly encouraged to use the online system. However, if you are looking for details, we also have a useful information sheet uh, that Senator Montgomery uh, and I put together, and we have some copies here uh, for all of you. Uh, so again, uh, this is a historic day in New York State. Uh, for the first time uh, since 1938, uh, adult adoptees will have access to their original birth certificate. We, we, we've been joined by uh, Assemblyman Robert Carroll from Brooklyn. I'm now going to call upon uh, my Senate counterpart, uh, who is actually uh, going to be retiring this year. Uh, she will not be running for re-election, uh, and we are truly going to miss her because uh, she's been uh, involved in so many different issues. But in this case, particularly uh, this issue, uh, for so many years, and uh, we will miss you, uh, Senator Montgomery. You, Senator oh, Velmanet Montgomery. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, I am just uh, so thrilled that we were able to finally, after all of these many decades, that people in our state, adoptees in our state, have been hoping and wishing and trying uh, to have access to their original birth certificate for information that is so vital to them uh, that we were able to do this uh, last session. And so as of this month, uh, and I believe 
I hear that as of midnight last night or this morning, um, there have been thousands of people who have already gone online to begin the process of accessing their birth certificates. So I just want to say thank you to the advocates who yes. have over those years and years of hopeful and pressuring and pushing and joining us and working together to make this happen. Uh, it is a tribute to them that they maintain the level of hopefulness and determination to make sure we did this. So we have brought today copies of the pen certificates, which is the way that the governor acknowledges our legislation that we all have a three-way agreement on. Each of us receives a pen certificate uh, regarding that legislation. So we have here a pen certificate for Gregory Lance, Gregory Luce. And uh, I believe, look, he is not present, but Annette is going to receive for him. And Annette O'Connell, we want to thank you. Where is Annette? Thank you, Annette. <laughs> and, and, and her son, Brendan, is here. Where is Brendan? Brendan is here also. Uh, that they represent the New York State Adoption Coalition. And uh, Suzanne Bachner and her husband, Bob Brader, where are they? Are they here? Okay. Uh, from, from the uh, New York State Adoption Coalition. Claudia Horrigan Liarsi and her daughter, Scarlett. Where is Scarlett? Scarlett. Uh, they also are with the New York State Adoption Coalition. Uh, Tim Maury Wolfbrook, are you here? <laughs> Tim oh, Marty Wolfbrook. I'm Marty Wolfbrook. Right. Marty Wolfbrook uh, from the Adoption Congress. And also Florence Fisher, who I understand is 90, but she is still today going to be honored for her contribution. <laughs> oh, She's did right I here, get the right wrong? Behind you. Where am I? You're good. You're good. You're not 90. No, no. <laughs> 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 I know. You're good. You're 90. <laughs> right. <laughs> Correction. She is not 90. And uh, Lawrence Fisher, who is, uh, she started the birth certificate movement in the 70s mm. in our state. Mm. We have heard from adoptees from all over the country. They were born here. They are in other states, they are in, even in other countries, but they are still hoping to be able to access their birth certificate. So we thank you, and uh, Assemblyman, I'm very happy this, to work with you. I'm so happy. And of course, you know, since this new, new Senate is in place, we can do things for the people. So this is one of the things that we have done in, since we've been in the majority, short time for the people of the state of New York. So thank you, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'd, like, I'd like to call upon um, Assembly Member uh, Pam Hunter uh, from Syracuse, who is an adoptee herself, uh, who is looking forward to getting uh, her original birth certificate. Assembly Member Hunter. Uh, good morning. I didn't think when I started in the assembly in uh, November 2015 that this would be something I would be voting on <laughs> or something that would even become a reality for not only myself but for thousands of people uh, across the country. And really something that has been in law for over 80 years. And when I stand and spoke on uh, the floor in the chamber and said, 
eight years ago, as a female, I wouldn't have been able to be here. As a black woman, I wouldn't have been able to be here. And we definitely have changed a historic wrong. And it's very exciting. I have heard since this legislation was passed from thousands of people across the country, people from California, Nebraska, Indiana, from my district, from you know different countries have called, emailed, text, written, uh, sent cards saying thank you, saying I never thought this day would be possible. And today it is possible to be able to take that step forward. For people who may not be able to be there today to get there, they know that the option is available for them. So maybe they don't fill it out today. Maybe they fill it out tomorrow or next week. But you know something? They have the option that they never able or were able to have before. This is a very exciting day. Knowing that thousands of people have already you know, submitted their applications knows that this is something that was absolutely necessary right at the right time. And I'm just so very excited for everyone who had the opportunity and thankful to the sponsors who were very diligent in getting this bill passed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Assemblymember. Uh, Assemblymember Robert Carroll from Brooklyn has also been uh, a staunch uh, advocate on this legislation since he joined uh, our House a few years ago. Thank, thank you, Assemblymember Weprin uh, and Senator Montgomery um, for all of the hard work uh, and diligence to get this piece of legislation passed. Um, and I would be remiss not to thank all of the advocates. This really would not have happened without years of advocacy uh, by individuals uh, to be given their own records, the records that the state always had. Um, transparency um, is always the best medicine, and I'm so glad that we were able to do that today. Uh, and this is an exciting day, and congratulations. Sure, sure. No, I want to congratulate again everybody here. This is a wonderful day. We've been waiting a long time for this, and I want to thank the sponsors. Um, you know, this was truly a bipartisan effort. This is, you know, we sometimes battle, you know, here and there on a lot of major issues, but, you know, this was bipartisan. This is something that, you know, was ridiculous that they couldn't get their birth certificates. The adoptees couldn't get them. Um, imagine, you know, the town clerk of an upstate town has that information as the Register of Vital Statistics, and they're unable to give that to the person that's requesting it. It was absolutely a ridiculous law. I'm glad we changed it, and now a lot of people are gonna be very, very happy, and we're gonna uh, make this state a little bit better. So, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Pat, you wanna say, uh, our local assembly member, uh, where many of the media is from, <laughs> assembly member Pat Fay. I just wanna commend David in particular, all the advocates, the senator for the years of work. I just want to say that this one, it was probably the single highlight in so many ways. It was the best, it was the most feel good day in session last year and, and the emotional outpouring was extraordinary. And I just want to say thank you to the advocates who persevered. Uh, when I was elected uh, is, uh, now um, eight years ago, this was the single first bill I heard about from an adoptee, very emotional, followed it all the way through, ran into him a couple of months ago, and, and he still is in touch. He's waiting for that bill pen. <laughs> um, but it was just the emotionalness of this, and uh, as, as somebody who has adoptees in, in my own family, um, I, I'm just so proud of this work. Thank you, thank you for your patience. Thank you again for all the advocacy. It worked. Uh, we, we've also been joined by Assemblyman Doug Smith, uh, and uh, we'd be happy to answer questions from the press. I understand there is a chart of the United States, uh, and the author of that chart uh, would like us to all help fill in the red in New York State, because it's filled in in red for those states that have adopted. We've been joined by uh, Assemblymember Alicia Hyman from uh, Queens. Uh, questions from the press? Can I just say one thing? Yeah. Sure. Oh wait, do we, any of the advocates want to speak? Feel free, yeah. 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 identify yourself and your group. My name is uh, Beth and I'm an, uh, I want to talk, Beth Suter, and I want to talk to non-adoptees. From Albany to Buffalo and down the Hudson River, there are going to be some secrets that are uncovered because of this bill. And I just want to stress that people be kind to one another. When a stranger calls on the other end or you get that email, to be kind to one another and to, 
So what? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, so <laughs> that, that initial call, uh, we need to be tactful and be mindful of what that's going to mean about uncovering secrets in other families. And so, please be kind. Good. Thank you. Any? Uh, I took. I took, and that's signed. So I would like. That's why it's not my sign. Mine is. Oh. Would some other advocate right. like to speak and yes. identify yes. yourself and your affiliation? Good keep, morning. Keep it short. I'm Annette O'Connell. I was born in the Bronx in 1967 and adopted in Rockland County in 1968. I am the spokesperson for the New York Adoptee Rights Coalition. I want to wholeheartedly thank our sponsors, Assemblyman Weprin, Senator Montgomery, and Governor Cuomo. Um, this is something that so many people really never thought would ever happen. The New York Adoptee Rights Coalition is comprised of allied advocates across the state and across the country, including the Adoptive and Foster Family Coalition of New York, um, Adoptee Rights Law Center in Minnesota, which is Greg Luce, who you referred to before with the Penn Certificate. He's been the mastermind behind the whole thing. And Marley Greiner from Bastard Nation. Um, I know you told me to keep it short, but there's so much that I really do need to say. Today is truly, truly historic. Advocates have been working on equal rights legislation for over 50 years. As the senator alluded to before, Florence Fisher will at 90 years old get her birth certificate. She started this movement in the 70s. We are beyond thrilled for her. Today, New York joins only nine other states that have unrestricted access to their birth certificates for adult adoptees. 40 other states and the District of Columbia need to step up their game at this point and follow the lead of New York. This truly is an equality issue. It's not about people searching. It's not about reunion. It's about equality. It's about me as an adopted person having been discriminated against and pathologized and had been burdened with having petition courts. It's expensive. It's time consuming. And non-adopted people do not need to do that. I never imagined that at 52 years old, this would be what I was doing. I mean, I'm going off script, so. Um, but here I am. And it's really not normal for a football and hockey mom to be standing here in the halls of Albany and lobbying. But this was the greatest experience of my life. It was the most humbling experience to go into the legislators' offices and to talk to your staff. Your staffers are absolutely amazing. And the staffers who would say, what, are you serious because my cousin is adopted? Or my sister gave up a child. Does this mean that that child can get their birth certificate? We are represented by every religion, every ethnicity, every, every occupation. There is an adoptee around you at every single moment in time. Today we celebrate equality. Congratulations, New York. Welcome to the, welcome to the new era. And thank you for getting it right and making it equal for all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now we would, I and would we've like also been joined by to... Assemblymember Dave DiPietro, oh, okay. uh, who's him. also been a staunch advocate okay. uh, since I got here, or since he got here, actually. I okay. came a little before. Uh, Could and we it's ask bipartisan. Those, uh, those advocates whose names we call to come down for your to receive a copy. Well, I got something to say. Yeah. <laughs> I got something to say. Okay. Uh, I've got I've got a statement. No problem. Tim, go ahead. My name is Tim Monty Walpart, and uh, I'm one of the 1,200 people that applied for my birth certificate last night, and I'm very happy about it. So it's a very good morning. I'm the national. I am the National Legislative Chair of the American Adoption Congress. I'm also the New York State Rep of the AAC and the creator of the Citizens' Petition to enact the Clean Adoption Reform Law with just over 10,000 victorious supporters. I'm really proud to be here today with uh, allied advocates from across the state. Starting today, for the first time since 1936, I and all Empire State adoptees can say that we are equal citizens of the state of New York. Together with our legislature and Governor Cuomo, we have thankfully restored unrestricted access to original birth certificates for all adult adoptees. Now, we call this clean adoption reform, and we have also established access for direct line descendants as well as legal representatives, as Assemblymember Weprin said a moment ago. But further still, we have changed and will continue to evolve a culture, a culture of secrecy in adoption to one of openness in adoption 
a culture of barring people from knowing their personal history, to one of celebrating the individual choice, the unimpeded civil right to know it. Adopted people will not be the only empowered beneficiaries here, but all of New York will benefit too. And just as the pain of 83 years of secrets has done incalculable harm, so too will the limitless future of truth allow immense healing, even if there are challenges along the way. Because, and I'd like to be very, very clear about this, New York, we are never going back. In fact, the work to enhance adoptee rights will continue here in all 50 states and around the world. Because in the final analysis, regardless of any past perceived stigma, secrecy never belonged in adoption. But for today, this is an excelsior moment. This is whatever upward looks like. This is what I believe Governor Cuomo is talking about when he talks about equality. So first and foremost, we deeply thank him today for signing our bill into law. Thank you, Governor Cuomo. And today we become, we become the 10th state with such a policy. And the largest of the 10. That's right, that's right. Before today, the most populous state with unrestricted access was Colorado, about five and a half million. We've got 19.4 million New Yorkers, and our estimate of the number of sealed records in this state is based on a per capita average. That's 650,000 original birth certificates sealed. I asked the Department of Health how many they were. They said they're actually not sure. So that's the best estimate you're going to get. But I want to thank the people from the Department of Health, especially the State Department of Health, the people from the City Department of Health. They've been tremendous in helping us to prepare. Amen. We'd also like to thank so many others coming together for our cause. I've got to name some of these people. Bert Hirsch, Jennifer Sorrow, Doris Bertacci, Shauna Hodgson, April Dinwiddie, Chris Gilbert, the great Carol Ann Lemon, everyone at Malkin and Ross, Pam Hasegawa. Uh, you know, I could go on and on and on. Um, we also really need to thank the founder of our movement, Florence Anna Fisher, who at over 90 years old in Brooklyn, I'm going to be seeing her this weekend, she still supports us today. I'm going to be bringing her a pen certificate. We thank our sponsors, Assemblymember David Weber and Senator Velmanette Montgomery. We are going to miss you, we but gonna you're going to be in Brooklyn, you. so I'm going to come trick or treat. Uh, <laughs> we thank committee chairs Rivera, Gottfried, and Lentall. Happy birthday, Joe Lentall. Yay, Joe! It's his birthday today. Thank you to all who stood up during both of the floor debates. My assembly member, <clears throat> my district assembly member, Robert Carroll, thank you for being such a bulwark. Uh, Senator Parker, thank you, assembly member Hunter, a fellow New York adoptee. She didn't just embrace our cause, she embraced us. We love you, assembly member Hunter. Thank you to all of our co sponsors. We thank Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart Cousins and Speaker Carl Hastie for their historic actions. And of course, Governor Cuomo. It took one governor in 1936 to seal these records. It took another to set us on the correct course. That's right. Personally, I would like to thank uh, my birth and adoptive families, including both of my very opinionated mothers, for their support, as well as my partner, Crystal Teeley, for her love and understanding, especially since 2015. Now, when we think of New York, we often think of the Statue of Liberty. But not far from this spot, right here in this building, in the war room of this great capital, is a painting on the ceiling of a woman described as the spirit of New York. I believe the spirit of New York is alive today. I believe the spirit of New York is well today. I believe the spirit of New York is smiling with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we've been joined by Assemblyman Ed Ra from Nassau County. Oh, Dave. David DiPietri. Pietro. I am Assemblyman Dave DiPietro. I just want to tell you that it was eight years ago that I got elected and my best friend was adopted and he, he kept telling me, when you go to Albany, would you find out what I can do about finding out my health records and my adopted parents? And I'm here to tell you that the first thing I did the first week was look up Mr. Weprin, uh, saw the bill and I signed on as a co-sponsor. And I can tell you that just last year, for the first time, about six months ago, he met his adopted family. He found out he has three sisters and another brother. And, uh, and it's really amazing now that their family is together and he's whole. So I just wanted to say thank you. This, this, this is a, a bill that affects everyone and it really uh, is long overdue. I want to thank Dave, especially right here next to me, for all the work he's done and thank everybody. So very, thank you very much. Yeah, and and as, as, as members of the press know, it's not often we have this kind of bipartisanship behind the bill, and as you can see by the members that came, we probably uh, 
have more Republican members uh, than Democratic members here today. And uh, I'd like to call That's upon okay. uh, Assemblyman Ed Ra. Thank you, David. I, I just really want to commend uh, Dave Weprin on his just longstanding, um, just perseverance on this bill. Uh, it was a long road, uh, but he but he kept at it. Uh, he made sure that the right thing ultimately happened. So kudos to you, David. Uh, thank you to all the advocates. And I'm in my 10th year here. I can't remember a more emotional day on the floor uh, than when we passed this bill last year. And so many advocates knew that they finally were going to see this uh, become law. So, so thank you to all of you that, that kept up the push. Uh, I am privileged and proud to have been some little part as a co-sponsor for many years. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else want to say something quickly? Can we do the photo op real Yeah, uh, any questions from the press first? Yeah, just questions from the press. Any questions? All right, you know, we're going to do the poster also. We'll do oh, the poster. Yeah, there's that one over we're there going to well. fill in the red. We have all the states. Come, let's, uh, you want to bring it out? All right, come bring it out. The states in red are the ones that have an open access. Uh, and we're, we're going to join. I'll, I'll be the first. We'll, bring, yeah, bring, it bring it in front. Bring it in front. Take this one. Take this. Put it up this way. Just stand right behind it.